Yo, welcome back. This is Stu42 with another Minecraft video. Today, I'm going to keep going with the power stuff that we did last episode. Uh, I did say that I would uh, come back and tell you guys how I fixed up the power for this. Uh, as you can see, it's a bit messy. Um, I found that what we have to do is we have to run... It's running from the generator into this capacitor bank here. And the capacitor bank is... Well, this is the, the one-stop shop for everything. So all of my solar from upstairs comes down to here and then this capacitor bank feeds everything else. Now, the problem that I had is that this generator isn't especially smart. Uh, in fact, it can waste a lot of power. Uh, this thing here only takes 40 RF per tick, as we found last time. Um, but if we run it through this capacitor, the generator just never stops. Uh, even though it's only, gen only using 40, it generates 4,000 and we basically lose out on the other 3,960 odd um, RF per tick. So uh, what I've done is I've made this block here, which is an RF monitor. Now you can select the capacitor bank. It looks in a three by three by three, uh, alarm level 95%. And if we send it to more, as you can hear and see, that's now on. And this will now charge up to 95%, which we've set there. So if we put the alarm level below, stops and above it keeps going pretty awesome so it's a bit a bit of a nasty block to make this RF uh, monitor uh, mainly due to it needs a resonant machine frame in the middle so it took me a while to make that because it's 50 million RF to make one of those uh, but no worries it's all working we have to put this little block here to run our redstone cable up the side uh, this cable seemed to be the one that worked the best project red transmission. I tried the Ender IO redstone conduit, didn't work, didn't run up, didn't connect to anything. Uh, the other thing would probably work is Rednet. Um, the Rednet cables though require plastic and plastic needs rocket fuel, rocket fuel needs, yeah, it's a, it's a horrible one that one. So, so anyway, that's how we solved that for the generator. So the thing I actually wanted to do today uh, was just get to work on more of the automatic processing. So downstairs, we have another nice, shiny, white, clean room. I'm gonna run some power down from the same generator. Um, in fact, it's about to hit 95%. There we go, ta-da, awesome. So it hits 95%, turns it off, cool. So I'm gonna run some power from there downstairs. Um, we're gonna put a bunch of uh, industrial craft machines there because we're gonna need some of them. And we're also gonna need um, probably some pulverizers I think I'll use it. Depending on which thing we're processing, it will depend on which thing we use. So the industrial craft stuff we're gonna need for any uranium processing because that's the only way to, to process it properly. Uh, I'm also looking to clean all this up. So there's an MFE above there. One of the super handy things with immersive engineering is these cables automatically convert between EU and RF. It's about a one to four ratio I think. So our 4096 RF per tick is actually like a thousand EU per tick. Now, 1,000 EU per tick is still pretty decent. Um, but yeah, so all good. So I'm going to move the that MFE across here, basically clean up the cables um, and make some machines for the bottom. So I'm going to run away and do all that. I'm going to come back once I've made some of the machines. There's one machine in particular I really want to look at today uh, that I want to go through with you guys because it's a bit of a nasty one. Uh, one of the things we're going to need is a thermal centrifuge this block here. To make it, we need a mining laser. To make the mining laser, we need this iron turning blank. Uh, what the heck is this? Never seen this before. So I, I do know how to sort of make this. I've never done it before, but we'll get to that towards the end of the episode uh, once I've gotten a bunch more of the stuff we need. All right, so I'll be back in just a moment uh, once I made some more blocks and maybe cleaned up a bit of this cabling again uh, and get everything set up for setting up some processing and then I don't know, we might try and hook our cables into it. Maybe this episode, maybe next episode. Anyway, see you in just a moment. Okay, we are back and down in our room, we now finally have some uh, capacitor power. So this has been powered from up the top, uh, which means, means we can now plug something into this. Now I've been away and made a few things while we're away. So the first thing we've made is a new MFE. Now, where am I gonna put this? I might put it in line with here. Maybe, 
Yeah, give a bit of a gap. Uh, now, because we can do this automatic converting thing, which is just awesome, uh, we can throw one of them on there, one of them on there, grab the high voltage wire, and this should be, yep, recharging nice and quickly. You might even hear, uh, maybe you won't hear the generator kicking from above. Now, I've also managed to make myself some of the decent cable, so we'll put that on there. The MV transformer, if we put it on this way, there we go. So that's now given us uh, some lower power. The other thing that we're going to do is this thing, the electric kinetic generator. Now, I've never used these before, so what I might do make sure that's cut first okay so power in I presume one of the sides and then uh, oh we're missing the other thing the turning device run 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 now I've got enough ender pearls now I should really make some of those elevators at some point there we go turning table do 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 Wow, that's, wow, 9,200 RF per tick. So that's what's coming over that cable. And this is nearly done. So 4 million, so it's 4 to 1, which will be 16 million. So it'll drain all of this. And now we're getting some from above. Fantastic. The system works. <laughs> the system works. Okay, turning table. Now this will be... I put it down that way. Interesting. Okay, so I don't know what that is. Uh, this here. Now this has some motors that we can put in. So when you put the electric motors in, it's going to, oh, there we go, 400 kilo units. Right, so they haven't made it too complicated. They've just called it units of turning. Power, sure, so it can be powered off 512. That's that's a start. This now has presumably some power. Now the thing we wanted to make was this iron turning blank. Handle, a lathing tool. Oh, we need a lathing tool. So we need a refined iron plate and some iron casings. And I don't really know if we what we need to do for this. So we need four out of five, three out of five, and then three twos, whatever that is. So I don't even know what any of that is. All right, I'm gonna run away and make once again uh, the bits and pieces. So I'm gonna make the lathing tool, which I forgot that we need. Hopefully that unlocks some more of the uh, some more of the config here that we can use. All right, so back in just a moment. Okay, I think it's worth coming back here because I've made my lathing tool, but we also need this iron turning blank. So this is the blank pattern that we use to make the specific pattern that was uh, mentioned on the laser. Well, the pattern for the laser, that is. So what we can do is we put the lathing tool in there. Cool. Awesome. So now we need to figure out what the, la what the uh, laser had. So it's four, three, and then two, two, two. So four, three, two, two, two. Look at that. Awesome. And then we can take the blank back out, get some tiny piles of iron dust as well. No big drama there. Uh, and then we have our specifically shaped thing for the laser. Awesome. Alrighty. That's a really good start to our little processing room here, although I may end up moving this back upstairs uh, just because this particular turning table isn't really something that you want to um, want to automate. It's, it's generally going to be a, a manual thing, so I might move it back up to the up to the workshop at some point and then make the rest of the things in here, macerator, all the other machines in a row. Uh, that's probably it for this episode i really want to try and keep my episodes a bit shorter um, these days that way i can get episodes out more often um, and sort of keep things to more 
bite-sized chunks and that there actually took a while <laughs> for me to do uh, that turning blank thing as well as as you can hear as I mentioned at the start of the episode this here there we are on and off <laughs> so that thing there is now hovering around the what did I set it to 80% so hovering around the 80% mark as it fills up that capacitor underneath which is perfect because it's no longer draining our biodiesel like crazy uh, so yeah I think that's it that's both the power for this and the turning system done and we've made a really decent start on our on our automatic processing room here uh, which will yeah maybe I'll get the machines built between now and the next episode and then we'll go into maybe using logistics pipes this time around uh, applied logistics is a bit of a way off in this hard mode pack quite hard to get a lot of stuff together for that anyway as always thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time